Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and I'm gonna go and try and tame the Desert Titan, you know, the big flying one. Um, got a pretty good idea that it's in the cave down here where you're summoning, and there should be an artifact down here as well. Uh, also, I've got this really weird glitch. Check that out. Don't know if that's some wild card know about, or if I'm just on the edge of some sort of shield or something. No idea. What? That's so weird, that. Anyway. Right, we're in the desert biome, and we are at, let's have a look at the cards, 8771. You can see this big uh, sort of metal bridge thing when you come across the border. Sticks out like a sofa. And just above it, there's like a big factory that's all been smashed up. It's like one of the biggest structures you can find in the desert. Right, my idea with the Tapajara was, put the tech saddle on it, and use the laser beam to shoot the corruption off the Titan. At this point, I was still pretty much convinced that that's all you needed to do after watching the live stream. Um, because on the Ice Titan, you just sort of shoot the corruption balls off and that's how you tame it. So yeah, that was just sort of the impression I was under. Right, this, this cave's pretty straightforward. Um, these turns and bits that go off, but they all lead back to the same main tunnel. Just trying to stop these bats from catching up to me. And there's these massive... Um, like force fields along the side that look out over into the, the big crater that you can't go into. My stamina was getting a bit low here, so I was just trying to land for a minute. We kept uh, hooking up onto the walls and then more bats came. But we've all had cave experiences now, it's just crazy in it in some of them. I think aberration was the worst. Right, just carry on through here. And we should be getting to the main cave. Yep, over here, that um, artifact there is the artifact of chaos, and you need that to summon the, the Desert Titan. Great that laser, I remember when you could um, team Titanosaur with it, that was pretty cool. And rock golems as well. I think I'm tamed some rock golems with the um, T Rex tech saddle. That was pretty cool. Right. This is the summoning thing. But I didn't realise what tribute I needed at the time. So I'm just going to go off and grab all that and then get back on with the video. It's a 100 corrupted heart. Um, 10 fire talons and 10 circle skins just want to show you this quick I built a little FOB outside in the desert not far from where the obelisk is and I got a snow owl extra type of gel with a saddle and his armour uh, preserving bin and beds all inside just in case you get wasted or something goes bad and you can just respawn there and the snow owl every time your stamina goes you can just go back here land and get healed up again because you will take quite a bit of damage as you're doing it right so we go 100 hearts 10 talons 10 cycle skins and we're good to go jump back on your mount as quick as possible the type of gyros i'm using are around 340 to 350 so they're like a decent bread tapper you know i didn't go for any stupid stats or anything like really high level just wanted to do it as like legit as possible right, I'm about to get spawned outside or teleported outside whatever there we go there it is see it spawning in just in the distance it is very cool that. You, you know I don't know if any of you have ever seen the dragon punk uh, roleplay mod and they've had a leviathan in that for past couple of months now but they've been working on it for a long long time 
one of the devs for that mod, mod said he's uh, looking forward to these two getting in a fight at some point. That'd be pretty cool to watch. Right, mechanics for the fight, you've got the lightning, see that there, it's like a lightning disc. And um, it'll sort of hover for a few seconds and then a lightning bolt will come out of it, does quite a decent amount of damage. Then you've got the flock, see these little, um, like, tiny little stingrays flying around, some sort of weird symbiont that sort of protects it from, you know, close range attacks. Um, they will fly directly in front of your lasers when you're shooting them. And they'll just ram into you as well. They do, you see there, do about 300 and something damage when they ram you. Um, they're not deadly, they're just annoying more than anything. At this point, I still thought that, like, doing as much damage to that node you see in the middle of the corruption was the main way to get the actual sort of corrupted crystal, you know, the, the element crystal that spins to farm. But I realised that you've got to sort of hover over the area and then try and get the lightning strike to hit that point and it'll bring it out. If you see one, one hit it there just on the right hand side. So it's any, anywhere in that sort of corrupted area should bring it out. Um, it can take a few tries as well. Your laser beam's only doing like one, one damage at a time. But I did realise that the more you hit it, the longer you hit it, the longer it'll stay out. Um, See these corrupted, not corrupted, the little flock flew in front of it there, the laser beams hit them and it just disappeared. So if you constantly do damage to it and hover above it, that's when the lightning strikes will hit it. And that's what does the main damage and gets rid of it. Just flying back to that little uh, forward operating base now. Just show you really quick. I actually filmed this part after the patch on the 10th. Um, and they did say they did nerf this a little bit, but it, it still heals up really good. I mean, I think if you're down to like say a third health, um, two or three heal, heals will take the tapajera right back up. You can do it in seconds and get straight back into the battle then. Just feeding it a little bit. I think I gave it one more blast just to make sure it was like fully healed. straight back to it you see the lightning strike sort of trying to get me then but I wanted to get back up quick just in case it um, targeted the, the owl see that flock getting in the way well annoying that yeah, crystal's out straight away this time because we've got electricity to hit it lightning to hit it it's better when, I mean, the thing does slow down, but because it moves all the time, you're sort of just adjusting yourself bit by bit, then the flock will hit you, and that just sort of messes things up. Right, I managed to get this one now. So I was still trying to do, like, damage to the node. And then you see the, the lightning there, the crystal didn't even come out, and the lightning hit it, like, dead on. It must have just spawned as it as it cracked it, and you see the corruption's gone now. But because it because the Leviathan, not Leviathan, uh, Desert Titan pulled up as that happened, it trapped me inside him for a couple of seconds. And then once he does that roll, you know, like you've you've hit it, and the corruption's all gone now. I don't know why he's got barnacles on his wings. Must have lived in the sea at some point. Hmm. Right, I went back, healed up. I'm going to try the left hand side now. This seemed a little harder. I, I definitely hit it like dead on with the electricity, uh, with the lightning a good few times. Um, so it must be like slightly harder than the first one you do. So that was on the corruption, so that was good enough to get the crystals to show. was a pretty good hit. Be good if the crystal actually had a health bar. Or at least the corruption had a health bar. That'd help a little bit. So you actually knew you were doing some damage. I 
I just went straight on it now. Look at that. I was like a direct hit. But still didn't do it. Yeah, like I said before, really keep an eye on your stamina because if it goes, you're kind of screwed. But if you've got um, the tech armor on, what I found was I ran out of stamina a couple of times like the night before and I was messing about. And I just sort of hit E, jumped off, hit the rocket pack and whistled follow straight away. And it just followed me to the to the other side so I didn't sort of crash into the ground. Right, back at it again, got the crystal out. Trying to line up one of them lightning bolts with it. Looks awesome at night, that battle of luminescence like that. You really see how big the disc is for the lightning there as well. It pulls up, you get stuck inside its wing, it's so annoying. That, that was like a direct hit. Stammer and everything's getting really low here, and you're like you're really tempted to stay and think you can just get it. I can just get it, but seriously, if you get that low, just back off and come back. It's a long fight anyway; it's not going to make much difference. But check this out. Got that one to hit then, and that just did it on that last one. There we go, he does his little spin, so that's two wings down. Didn't like it, he was heading straight in my direction there then. Right, and the tail sort of scales up again. It took a lot more to do this than it did the wings. Said so we've been moving about so much as well, and it's just pain sort of to keep in you know really good position the flock tries hard as they can to screw your game up good little mechanic that though I do like them things graphics on them are really good Sort of hitting that with everything I had to try and keep it open and get more lightning to spawn. I have to head back again. So I got all like two lightning strikes to hit it there. To bail. I mean, if you went round and like leveled up your, your tapper for a while first and like just dumped a load of points in your stamina, it would make things a lot easier. But saying that, the damage you take, you've got to land now and again to go and get healed up anyway. But that, having this, the snow owl there just makes life so much easier. It's ten times better than the day damage. There we go, got to spawn again. Couple of lightning strikes there, right on it. If you notice here then, the flock just flew underneath it and then reappeared behind me. And then they all just sort of fell out of the sky. There's a lightning strike and the crystal's gone. But all the corruption's still there. And I thought, actually, I'm not getting anywhere there. And the lightning stopped trying to attack me so far. Must be tamed. But that must be it. But I expected it to roll or the um, the corruption to disappear or something. So if you're at that point, just go and check it out. If the if the flock disappear, you must have done it. That's all I can think. And there we go. One tamed desert titan solo. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to use so much element shooting at it as well. 
probably other ways you can use. Um, I did think of taking like extra dinosaurs or something, um, you know, extra flyers to sort of distract the flock or whatever. But if you do that, the lightning strikes um, target them as well. So you get light, less lightning strikes on yourself, which you need to drop onto the um, the corruption. So I think the best thing overall was just to have the snow owl, the little base, just in case. And yeah, just just rinse and repeat. Just keep coming back and coming back. Like I said, it did did take a good while. I think the video was 50 minutes long when I recorded it, so I sort of chopped it up into into this. Well, there we have it. Called it Cloud Base. Got to do some building on it. Hopefully there'll be something we can change so it's not only a five day time soon. For PVE anyway. See there, um, you hold down control and use your uh, button, mouse button and just click it wherever you want the lightning to drop and you get six charges and that and it just charges straight back up again. Plus it's pretty quick man, it covers a lot of ground, you know, just because of the sheer size of it. Normal mouse click, you know, if you're not holding down control, anything does that tail whip. Don't know how much damage that does, I've not tested him out in battle properly yet. Might look for a supply drop and see what I can do. There it is, that's where you sat, see the cockpit in the front, just, just between his eyes at the top. Don't know if you can paint the saddle, I've not tried that either. But yeah, I'm well impressed with that. It's a bit of a bit of a decent fight as well. Said so I tried it once the night before and it didn't go too well. So I thought I'd re-record it and show you how to do it properly. <laughs> And there we go that's how to summon where to summon the desert titan and solo team i think the tapajara is about your best bet for that all right guys thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video i'll just show you what happened this is a bit of an outtake from the video I thought he's, he's a good distance away there, he's not going to be able to find me or at least be able to target me and I saw him two little li lightning bolts come down I thought that's a bit close and look at the distance on that and he targeted me from there I was like no, don't need that so I thought if I heal up like this now it won't, it won't kill me, I'll be fine yeah I was wrong I thought I'd jump off and get the Tapajara out of there. I just got completely fried. Game over. <laughs> but yeah, that's why the little um, forward base comes in handy. The other Tapper I had got knocked off the side of the cliff, but he's uh, he's still alive. Right, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope that's give you some idea of how to do it. Uh, it'll be ten times easier if you've got a decent tribe. Right. Catch you later.